And in particular, I have a very a particular use, which a guy alluded to, which is the rep representation of knowledge. It's from the AI view of the world. How is it that I can express the things I want to express about the things I know so that not only can a computer understand it, but so can a, you. It's important to me that I can give you a program to read and you can learn something from it that I've, that I've, I've figured out. And if you give me a program to read, then I can read it and I'll learn something from what you figured out. Okay, so that's a, a very important goal, which is rather probably different from mo most of the computer language design in the world. And so the crucial thing here is functional programming allows us to, to be precise, okay? That we, we, it can be precise enough so we can teach to a dumb computer. If we can teach to a dumb computer and I'll give you the computer program, then you can understand what's going on. Okay? That's very important. The other, the other way to say it is that, is that the computer is not going to let you become imprecise because it just isn't going to work. Programming forces one to be precise and formal without being rigorous. What I mean by rigorous and formal are quite different. Formal means you know what the damn uh, power series we're talking about. Rigorous means you know it converges. Okay? <laughs> the computer does not tolerate vague or in descriptions or incomplete instructions. Therefore, one becomes aware of one's unsupported conclusions. Why programming is good medium for expressing poorly understood and sloppily formulated ideas. <laughs>